It's been a while since we looked at a Blackview Mini PC, and here's the MP60. Hang on Rob, didn't you already review that back in January 2023? That's right, I have to say, you've got a very impressive memory. But this time, there's a new CPU to go with it, which leaves the old MP60 far far behind. Well, not that far, but far enough. This new MP60 has Intel's N150, a budget 4-core, four 4-thread four CPU with Intel UHD graphics. It's no supercomputer, but has its uses, and works okay as a YouTube, web browsing, or office desktop PC. I would have liked a whole new design for the MP60, but it is what it is, which is a very plasticky mini PC with a budget feel that creaks in the hands with slight pressure. Oh. Often we get minis which look better in person than they do in the stock photos. This one is the exception. Anyway, one cool thing is that you can remove the bottom section if you're not planning to add a 2.5 inch SATA drive. Blackview's MP60 is not the cheapest N150 mini PC we've seen, coming in at 190 US dollars on Amazon.com for the 512GB SSD 16GB RAM model after the coupon. Included in the box is a 12 volt 30 watt wall power supply, HDMI cable, visor mount, screws, and the manual. There are no ports on the front of this mini, so we'll start with the right side. The power button is here, as well as dual USB 3 5 gigabit and USB 2. A budget Realtek 8821CE chip is soldered onto the board for wireless and Bluetooth. On the back is another USB 2. Dual HDMI 2.0, maxing out at 4K 60Hz, Realtek Gigabit LAN, and a 3.5mm audio jack. That's a very sparse port selection with no USB-C. So I did already mention the bottom section is for the 2.5 inch storage drive. Just remove the screws, and you can add it there. To remove the bottom, slide both of these into the unlock position, and it comes right off. Again, we see another mini PC with glued on rubber feet covering screws. There's not much more I can say about this. It's like a fart in a spacesuit that never goes away. Once those are ripped out, remove the screws and there's easy access to the board. The CPU cooler is unchanged and has disappointed before, but we'll see how it fares this time. The M.2 slot features a SATA drive. However, it does also support Gen 3 X2 NVMe, which maxes out at around 1800 megabytes per second read and write. LPDDR4 memory is soldered on, which is surprising for such a large mini PC, as is that it's only running at 2666 mega transfers. Oh. As with nearly every mini PC we look at, this one comes with Windows 11 Pro. A malware and rootkit scan showed no results. The Ubuntu test of a USB drive worked fine with the current version. Blackview's MP60 has below average Cinebench single core performance. Increasing the power in the BIOS helped bring it up to where it should be. Multi core performance is the worst yet of any N150 tested out of the box. After changing the power limit, it's better, yet still below the 3000 or so points it should be getting. Geekbench mimics the Cinebench single core findings, and multi core is the worst result when tested out of the box. But it's decent with a power limit tweaked. The H.264 CPU video encoding result is unimpressive either way, with the Blackview MP60 behind many other 4 core N series minis. Switch that to QuickSync GPU, and the result is at best matching the next worst result. DDR4 2666 is going to reduce integrated graphics performance with the N150, and the Blackview matches the Vista V1 which has the same configuration. That being said, the MP60 still beats any N100 box easily in all three 3 d Mark tests. Those wanting to game on a cheap mini PC are better off getting an AMD Ryzen based mini PC for a much better experience. Although, the N150 can play some basic esports and simpler games like Minecraft and Roblox if you're on a tight budget. I'll showcase one new title here out of curiosity. Cultic is a favorite of mine that I played recently. Don't want to give away too much for anyone wanting to experience it, but I can say it runs poorly on the N150. Oh.
No problems were found with audio latency on this mini PC when testing latency mon with Cinebench running in the background. While 1080p video editing is possible with Adobe Premiere, the CPU will be maxed out and it struggles once effects are added. Still, it's impressive what a good job Intel's QuickSync does decoding the video if you just want to do a basic edit. The included SATA SSD isn't fast, at least it's not the source benchmarked. There's no working temperature sensor on it, but I wouldn't be too worried about a SATA drive thermal throttling. Bluetooth range is above average with the MP60 and wireless reception at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router is fine. An idle power draw from the wall of around 9 watts is pretty standard and the maximum goes up an extra 5 watts after the BIOS tweak. CPU temp is okay out of the box, but thermal throttling kicked in when I used the higher power limit. I guess that's why it's not set as the default. CPU cooling in the MP60 is definitely a weak point. On a positive note, at least the cooler doesn't make much noise. The MP60 N150 is almost silent at idle and quiet under load. This mini PC is large compared to the competition, even with its small cooler and lack of ports. It's bigger than a lot of the mid to high end minis. Taking off the bottom will slice the vertical height and volume, but not the surface space occupied. Mashing the delete key gets you into the BIOS. To increase the power limit, go to the advanced tab, power and performance, CPU, power management control. Then view configure turbo options. Set both PL1 and PL2 to 30,000 and save and exit. In chipset, you'll find the memory configuration option. Unfortunately, changing it to 3200 mega transfers is ignored by the system. So we're stuck at 2666. Finally, in the boot tab is the power failure option and wake system from S5. That's all for the BIOS. We've covered Blackview's mini PC in detail. Here are the pros and cons. The MP60 now comes with Intel's latest N150. Wireless and Bluetooth range is above average. Fan noise is low. However, the MP60 has poor plastic quality, mediocre performance at best, with slower soldered memory and weak cooling. Blackview's MP60 N150 mini PC struggles against the competition. For the same price, you can get the MP80 with the faster Intel N97 for the same price and it's a better mini PC in almost every way. You can find my review of it right here. Cheers!